Hey guys, Chainfire here, and welcome to my 10,000 gold giveaway. Hey Nina. <clears throat> hey William. Hey Ra. Hey Tourney. And Edge. Hey Jay. So, let me go ahead and uh, get started, guys. I know uh, I did put it in the description and wanted you all to uh, make sure and read the description. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, read that out for you. So, this way, uh, for those of you who have a hard time reading or haven't read it yet, I'm going to make sure to read that to you. This is uh, my short disclaimer before we get into the games here. So hey guys, welcome to my 10k giveaway. Please keep the chat clean and drama free. We will be hosting all ranges of age in this live stream and keeping the rules as requested by the anonymous sponsor. My moderators will delete any inappropriate message. If you get three message messages deleted, you will be put in timeout. If you are put in timeout and come back, and have another uh, offense, you will be blocked from chat. Anyone who uses inappropriate language or offensive words will be put in timeout or blocked without warning. The decision will be made by the moderators and questioning, questioning a moderator for a timeout will automatically put you in an additional timeout. Anyone in a timeout will not be included in the random draws for winners in the giveaway. The Nightbot that I've added to the channel will put users who spam in timeout. Spam is as follows. Users who use excessive capital letters and messages, users abusing uh, emotes, and users spamming excessive symbols. Here are the details for the giveaway. There will be 10 winners chosen at random throughout the stream. Each will receive 1,000 gold. To win, you do not need to subscribe. Uh, I will have a word you need to put in chat to make sure that you are here and not a bot. You will have two minutes from when I say go, and then the Nightbot will pick a viewer in random out of everyone who said the word. Once a winner is announced, they will have two minutes to post the following. IGN in-game name, so mine is Chainfire. You each have your own your pilot ID, and the platform you're on iOS or Android. Please have the information ready. Okay, so right now, go into your game, make sure that you have your pilot ID ready. Your pilot ID will show up as soon as you click the menu. Okay, it shows uh, your, on the top, it shows your pilot name and your pilot ID underneath that. Also, you'll have to say the platform, okay? You will have two minutes to post the information. Um, the gold will be transferred directly to your account by Tuesday or Wednesday. If you fail to post the information, there will be another draw. If the information you provide is not correct, I am not responsible if you do not receive the gold. So awesome. All right, guys, let's get into it. And first of all, let me go ahead and uh, a special thanks to my moderators for this, um, this uh, live stream, David Swinton. Hey, David. Um, we will hopefully be having uh, Theo join us shortly, and he will also be made moderator for this uh, chat. There he is. Let me go ahead and do that now. All right, so Theo, you've been added to moderating. Uh, and hopefully uh, Mythic, when he uh, gets in, I didn't see him yet, but I also wasn't so much paying attention to chat. All righty, guys, we're going to get into it. We're going to start off with uh, our first game here. so awesome this is so awesome so awesome we're gonna have a lot of people here with us and uh, hopefully you all are gonna enjoy this live stream once again guys you do not have to subscribe to win okay subscription to my channel is if you enjoy the content if you like what you see and you want to see more like it go ahead and hit the uh, chain fire watermark on the bottom of the screen to subscribe to my channel also once you subscribe you can click on the little bell this way you can turn on notifications so you get notifications when I go live or when I post videos 
But uh, like I said once again, you do not have to subscribe. Okay, this is the subscription is completely and entirely for people who enjoy this live stream. If you're here just for the guild giveaway, awesome. You're gonna have your chance. Once this video is over, um, you know it's it's completely up to you if you want to stick around or not. Uh, if you do want to stick around, of course, it's awesome to have you in the links. The links, uh, for those of you who don't know, I call y'all links. The links that make the chain, chain fire, get it. So. Let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, guys, as you can see in my hangar, I'm not using any British bots. Okay, so I've had a lot of people complaining about the British bots ruining the game or different things like that. Now, some of you have and some of you haven't been here in the game during the Golden Rhino days. The Golden Rhino days are back when the Rhinos came out. People had four or five Rhinos in their hangar, all maxed. And then the Fury Tridents came out and eliminated that because the Fury Tridents were really, really good to counter those uh, rhinos but in those days we had pretty much only rhinos and griffins we had some um, we had we did have some of the regakas back in that day but you know things were very very challenging and the nice thing about war robots is that the players you guys have been adapting for so long with these changes that have been happening in the game so yes yeah, so there are a lot of British bots right now we see a lot of galahads a lot of um, a lot of uh, uh, um, uh, Lancelots and uh, of course also you know some but not as many of the um, the dot 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 the little baby uh, Gareth but uh, of course also again there's always adapting to the meta adapting to what's going on in the game so let's go ahead and get started guys we're gonna run into our first game after the first game we're gonna have our first draw here okay um, and hopefully we're not gonna have too much of a wait time here Hey Noob King. Hey Billy, hey Vito. Oh, wow, that was fast. Okay, straight into the game here. And let's see how we do with this uh, completely non-British bot game. I'm going to start with my Beacon Capper. This is a level 12. All of my robots are level 12. I believe I uh, fixed up the hangar properly. Hey Billy, hey uh, Amanda, hey TNC. Wow, it's awesome having so many people here, guys. It's really awesome having y'all. So we're going to start with our fast Beacon Capper. Okay, I actually put in the Stalker. The Stalker used to be my number one favorite robot when I first started the game. I had about two or three Stalkers at the time. Uh, the nice thing about Stalkers is, of course, the Stealth Mode. The Stealth Mode provides, uh, you know, that time that you have when you're in Stealth. I believe it's five or six seconds. And during that time, nobody can fire at you. You still do have to keep in mind that there is a decent reload time on that ability. And for this reason, we want to be cautious and not use it unless we really need it. So now, of course, because I uh, that is my fastest bot, I'm going to go ahead and use that to get the far beacon, allowing my teammates to take positions in other places. Now let's go ahead and use the magnums, which are constant fire. And right now he's engaging on someone else, so I'm not going to use my special ability yet. This guy is probably who I'm going to use my special ability on. Okay, so the stalker is not engaged on me yet. I'm going to go ahead and use it right now. This is perfect timing. I'm going to use our lock on target to make sure that we're locked onto these targets as they come. The Regaka has uh, plasma. The Terrans are definitely dangerous for us. So we're going to try to stay out of those. Now we still have 10 seconds on our stealth, so we're taking cover behind this object. We're going to make sure to basically flank them. We do have the Regaka that has a jump ability. But we're going to take the Stalker out first because he is actually has stealth mode. And my teammate and I are going to have an easier time with the Regaka once he's gone because he can't intimidate me or my teammate while um, he doesn't have stealth mode. Those are tridents that just fired on us. Many of you uh, don't have your game sounds on, and this is why I say make sure to have your game sounds on. Your game sounds will help you also identify weapons and identify, um, identify weapons and identify what's coming at you. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and get the far beacon. We're going to try to give him a four cap. I see my teammates already on it, but he lost his physical shield. For those of you who don't know, you will always see it smoking. So this includes also the Lancelot. I'm going to use my special ability to try. Oh, didn't go so well, but at least hopefully that guy will get it. We're going to go on and actually use our Carnage Thunder. I see a couple of them are going out. So we're going to use our Carnage Thunder. We are going to be at a beacon advantage once our teammate gets that last beacon, that far beacon. By the way, guys, during games, I have a hard time multitasking, so during games, I will typically just be um, pretty much into the game. Now, they did send a Galahad up that way, 
So I don't know if my teammates will be able to handle that. We may have to use our next bot to go back into center. But right now we're going to try to take out the long range. The Carnage Thunder is a assassin. That was the nickname that it got back in the day. Um, and that's because it can take out mid-range. And I know that we were being fired at by Tridents. So we're going to attempt taking out their mid-range. Thunders reload fast. Okay, They reload one shell per second. If you alternate your shots, by the way, you're more effective, you're able to do more damage. I'm going to take a quick look back, make sure that no one's coming at us from behind. Alright, let's start working this shield. Once we've used that, let's try to see if we can't get this guy in the back. I basically want to take the shield down to take down that guy, that Carnage's uh, confidence. Once he doesn't have a energy shield, he doesn't feel as confident, he's not going to come out at you. He's going to stay behind cover. Okay, so we are firing, getting fired at from the left. We're going to use our rush to go ahead and get this guy from the other side. Okay, let's see if these guys need any help with this guy. While that guy's behind cover. Alright, he's coming at us now. Took down his shield again. This guy's got the two magnums, and the magnums can hurt. I'm not afraid of his talumbas. I believe those are talumbas. And there he goes. Then we have this Regaka firing at us. We don't have an energy shield, so we're actually going to get out. Even though we want that beacon, we're going to go back and get in here in a sec. We're going to lock onto the Regaka so we don't accidentally lock onto, get onto any other targets. Targeting will sometimes mess you up and do that to you. We're going to stay behind cover. I do see we have a couple of plasma weapon uh, robots back there coming at us. All right, let's go ahead and go behind cover. We're gonna let those guys come into range. They're gonna we're gonna let them come to us, not the other way around. This guy's gonna be corner shooting me. Just go ahead and get into proper cover right here. Anyone who comes around this corner, I'm gonna give up that beacon. We are at the beacon advantage again. Anyone who comes at us right here is gonna get hammered just a bit. Alright, oh well. Now, let's go ahead and use our Agaka. We're going to go back into center. I think they might try to get a 4 cap here. So what we're going to do is actually going to go over here and flank. Alright, and that guy's our primary target. So once again, we're going to lock on target. That's just in case if I have to look away. As long as I'm within those green crossers that you see on the sides, once you lock onto a target, it's going to have two... Um, He's got two boxes around his name. Let's go ahead and empty our clip so we can already reload. And now that that guy is down, we're going to jump ahead. Um, but as you can tell, right now I don't have any of those green lines. But now, once I lock onto a target, it's going to give me the green lines. As I get closer right, to the target, those green lines are going to get narrower and narrower. Look at those green lines, they're getting more and more narrow, so you have less space. Right? But as long as you're within that, you stayed locked on target. This does not include the Rhino. The Rhino, you can actually make a full circle and look around. And you'll still be locked on target when you look back at him. Okay, so I'm actually going to jump into here. This guy is... Um, he should he should have moved in to get this beacon. Just get this game over with and get you guys your first 1,000 gold! So we do have those uh, candlesticks, I call them candlesticks, the, um, <laughs> the, tr the trebs. So let's go ahead and jump over our buddy over there. That's a Lancelot. These trebs are going to keep heat hitting us, but that's okay. Trebs are actually not as effective as some people think. They're not that threatening, they're more just uh, a little scary sometimes, but when you're maxed, uh, when you have a maxed hanger, they're not the worst of things. Let's see, he's targeting me. He wants a chunk of my clunk. Alright, 
Yeah, he's definitely targeting me. He's looking at no one else but me. <laughs> Alright, good game. Alrighty. Hey, Jake. Okay, so once again, guys, we do want to keep this uh, chat completely clean, okay? Especially because this w there was a notification for this in the in-game news and in the in-game menu. We're going to be having a lot of people here who uh, are younger at all ranges of ages, okay? So we want to make sure that the cat chat is completely, completely clean. Uh, I'm going to get on uh, requests from my uh, moderators to make sure and keep an eye on chat. Anything that is inappropriate or um, not clean, please uh, go ahead and delete those messages. Let me go ahead also and make sure that I have the uh, Nightbot ready for this giveaway. Just one moment here. What is this song? Okay, let's just move on to the next song. Just one moment here, guys. One second here, guys. Sorry. Sorry about this, guys. Just one moment here. Okay, awesome. So right now, uh, the Nightbot is collecting information. So what this means is, now, I want to make sure that um, I want to make sure that um, you guys have the uh, an all uh, a fair chance. Okay, so it is completely, completely random. What we're gonna do is we are going to make a keyword. The keyword, as soon as you enter it into chat, the Nightbot is going to be collecting all that information. The keyword that we're gonna do right now. Okay, and basically when I say go, you have two minutes. Okay, it's going to be collecting information during those two minutes. The word is going to be like. No caps, all just one word. Okay, you have... Okay, the word is going to be like when I say go. Now, 
the nightbot is actually automatically going to calculate and if anybody spams if anyone says like twice okay don't start yet only say it when I only only start when I say and when I say go everyone you just all you have to do is write like in the chat and it's gonna have, you're gonna have two minutes it's gonna collect information for two minutes and then generate a winner out of everyone who said like in the next two minutes so you ready guys one two three go once again if you press like twice in the chat you are not eligible to win anymore you lose your chance the nightbot is able to calculate this and right now it's collecting information if you spam and wrote twice it's automatically going to kick you out of the roll. This is just a reminder guys, if you spam and write twice, you do not have a chance to win. The Nightbot will kick you out of the the uh, pool. So just once. I'm giving two minutes, that's plenty of time for the 420 people who are watching right now to go ahead and do that now. Alrighty guys, we are going to roll for the winner right now. And the winner is Rhea Mints. Rhea Mints, you are the winner. Let's see, does the nightbot actually say it? And I'm sorry, moderators also are included in the draw, of course. Okay, and let me go ahead and post the name of the winner. Our first winner for tonight is Rhea Mintz, who has a picture of a robot. It's purple on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and post that into chat. Congratulations. Rhea Mintz. Okay, this is, this is crazy. Once again, Ram Mints, please go ahead and post your information for me. And that is your IGN, your in-game name, followed by your pilot ID and the followed by your pilot ID and then your um, platform. So if it's iOS or Android. All right, guys, that was it for the first giveaway. All right, so you don't have to uh, press like anymore. Hey, Togi. And we are waiting on Ram Mints to post his information. There, You have two minutes to post your information. If not, we are going to ha uh, be doing another draw. And don't worry, guys, we're going to be having another giveaway really soon. Don't worry. There we go. Awesome. Okay. 
thank you, Rayout. Let me go ahead and uh, post that information. Is minute uh, 2635. Okay, awesome, Rayout. We got your information. We are going to go into the next game here, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And after this game, hopefully, we will have another draw. All right, let's take our beacon capper first, and we are going to indicate to our teammates where we are going. Sorry, buddy. Okay, so firing at a beacon will basically indicate to your teammates that you're planning on going in that direction. And they shouldn't double up. Ooh, shoot, that hurt. All right, see, we are having a little bit of lag here. I'm going to go ahead and use my stealth right now. I'm going to hop on down here and get some cover. Just one second here, guys. Just one second. All right. I do apologize about that, but I see we're pretty much lag-free now. All right, so of course we're always going to make sure to keep our ranges. What we're going to do is actually we're going to try to assassinate this sniper. Uh, it sounds kind of funny trying to assassinate a sniper with a stalker. But uh, even if we don't actually assassinate him, at least we're going to get him off of our teammates for now. We're going to get this guy to close his shield. This slows him down. And we're going to take cover over here. Now as far as I'm concerned, right, first of all I can corner shoot at this guy. Right, but as far as I'm concerned, right now I have two players engaging me. And what this does, it gives my teammates an advantage. Now I have another person coming for me. My teammates are now at an advantage. Right now we're at a beacon disadvantage, right? We're at a beacon disadvantage. We only have two out of three beacons. Sorry, two out of five beacons. But I'm attracting all this attention my way. I'm about to get taken out, but this is giving my teammates a chance to advance. I don't have any shielded bots, so both that Carnage and um, let's go ahead with their Gaka. We're going to do is we're actually going to flank the other side. Okay, I was hoping that my teammates would take advantage of that, and the fact that I pulled all that attention my way, that was going to give them a chance to go into center and go ahead and grab that. But what we're going to do is we're going to have to continue flanking. I do see I have two teammates going this way, so I'm actually going to follow them. One of them has a physical shield. So I can definitely use that Lancelot for cover. Ouch, that freaking hurt. I'm trying to jump over here and get behind cover. Oh, dang it. Well at least we at least we took down one of those Zeus's. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my um, my fat boy. I don't know how we lost that. I guess it was the two Galahads that went out that way probably got that. And what we're going to do is actually going to flip over and we're going to use our Zeus's first. We're going to try to take out those Zeus's. We'll try to work on those Carnages. That is the idea right now. What's going on with my playlist? Let's get some beady music up in here. Okay, so there we go. We're going to start working on this guy first. He's running, but that's okay. Get another shot at him before I get behind cover. Just now we are getting... We got center, and the far beacon is now whited out, so that's good. We're going to lock onto the target that is uh, going to get that beacon. I'm going to start working on that guy. Alright, so he put up a shield. We're going to flip over to our tridents. Fire right over there on that little, in that little corner. It's basically the way to get those guys who are flanking the side. Ouch! Okay, 
Okay, so we got a good few shots at him. We're going to keep our tridents just to fire them one more time because uh, the reload time is about 9 seconds. We may as well... Fuck you, Trip. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. I'm supposed to be keeping this clean. <sighs> Alright, now we're going to try to take position under the bridge. That's the place for us. Let's work on shields. This is going to help our teammates. So actually, this guy is the best target for us to start working on. Because he can do the most damage to my teammates. So working on his shield is definitely be most advantageous for my teammates. Next, we're going to work on the next shield. When you're in a Carnage Thunder, the greatest service you can do to your teammates is uh, breaking and is annihilating Ansel shields. Alright, let's go ahead and boost backwards just to use this proper cover over here. Now we are getting the beacon advantage of them. Good job and props to my teammates. Alright, let's go back to this guy. Because we do have tridents out. I wish that guy would get something that can move a little faster. I'm going to try to keep his shield down, so I'm constantly firing in this guy's direction in hopes that uh, my teammate using tridents is uh, going to be able to do proper damage to him. So let's... oh, dang it. Alright, well, all of my bots are not very appropriate for this map. Um, they also have a uh, proper amount of uh, long range, uh, mid range, sorry. And they have that long range as well, so what we're going to try to do is get to the other side of the map. In general, guys, and in the future, you will be seeing me run uh, British bots as well in top tier. As you can tell right now, I'm probably um, screwing things up for my teammates just a bit. Alright. I hope this guy is going to probably jump for me. So let's just wait for that to happen. They have another Carnage. Oh gosh. Another Carnage Zeus. These guys have plenty of them. And I'm just gonna have to hide because this is my last bot. When you're on your last bot, you definitely want to be um, you want to be careful. You want to play it nice and slow and smart. Ah, uh, wow. So he can still fire at me. Let's go ahead and try to be sneaky, sneaky, and at least steal this beacon. Looks like we have one guy who already meched. Damn. That was a terrible game. That was a terrible, terrible game. Tough. These guys were these guys played really really good, especially in the mid range. They made sure to always have the beacon advantage, and then keep those range in. So that was good for this map for Canyon. Definitely a good job. On other maps, they wouldn't do so well. Let's say Dead City, they would have a terrible time winning this one the same way that they did. Wow, that was bad. That was bad. I really hope that, uh, as you can see, the guys with the the Carnage Zeus's were the ones who did really well. Carnage Zeus is a really really good robot. Um. It's a really good robot. The Carnage, if you ask me, is definitely your best buy for uh, workshop points. And then um, and then the uh, Zeus's are also very, very good. You know, they're right now I know that they're working on an update, a patch that will basically fix the little thing, that, the little problem that we we're having with the Zeus's not firing right away. Um, alrighty, guys. 
So let's go ahead. We're going to do our next giveaway right now. And for this one, we're going to have a new keyword. Hold on. Just go ahead and make sure that I have this here. Just one moment here, guys. Alright guys, for this one, the keyword is going to be... Let's do, um... We're gonna do teamwork, okay? One word, no caps, go. Teamwork, only once, guys, alright? So go ahead and write teamwork in chat for your chance to win <laughs> you're sneaky sneaky what's that hey gang hey mother We're going to have two minutes for that, guys. Two minutes for the 347 people watching right now to put teamwork in chat. One word, no caps. Once again, guys, I'm just a reminder, anyone who writes more than once is automatically disqualified. The Nightbot will not give you your reward. You will you will not be included in the in the role. Too late. <laughs> Once again, guys, I really, uh, I really, I have to appreciate the first 1,000 subscribers on my channel. This is uh, basically this this giveaway is is for you guys. The 1,000 gold being given to 10 winners is a symbolism of the first 1,000 subscribers on my channel. Of course, guys, we will be having more in the future, more giveaways and more exciting stuff. Um, make sure, I know for a lot of you this is your first live stream with me, uh, be sure to check out other content on my channel, okay? Most of the videos and live streams are very, very interesting and very fun, okay? This one is a little different, once again, this is kind of my, um, you know, recognizing that many of you players do not, are not max players and are not running, you know, British bots, and this is, uh, you know, my way of, of saying, you know, hey guys, you know, I'm just gonna do a full live stream in my 10k gold away, uh, 10k gold giveaway. For those people. Alright guys, let's go ahead and roll the dice. And the winner is Adrian Kuzada Super Gamer Kuzada. I'm gonna go ahead and post that in chat as well. The winner is Please go ahead and post your information. Post your in-game name, your pilot ID, and your platform. And don't worry about the screenshot, because actually the Nightbot shows, if you look over here, you'll see the Nightbot shows, now it's showing just this player and anything that he messages. So as soon as he posts it, 
Alright, he just said I'm here. That's so cool. I love the Nightbot. This is this is really awesome. Makes it easier to do the giveaways and makes it really accurate accurate. Alright, please go ahead. I see that you're here. I see you're here. Go ahead and post your in-game name, your pilot ID, and your platform. Yep. You're here right now. Yep, right now, go ahead and post in chat your pilot ID, your in-game name, sorry, your in-game name, your pilot ID, and your platform, iOS or Android. While he's doing that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and roll on for the next game. Another long map. How much fun. This is tough competition too. Let's go ahead and start with our Stalker. I do see that we have uh, trebuchets down there. So we're going to start with our Stalker. The Stalker is going to allow us to go into stealth mode when we need to get away from him. Guys, please make sure to have your information ready for the next giveaways. Write that information down real quick. Ooh, shoot, it's a Rhino. I'm gonna let my teammates fire at him from the side once I get this beacon. He's gonna have to open his shield here shortly. Okay, there we go. We're gonna be able to move in here and grab this beacon again real quick. We're in stealth mode so that uh, Fury can't fire at us. Once we get that beacon, we're gonna back out. That guy is a carnage so he can fire at me. I'm gonna try to get away from him. We do have that Fury back there. So we're gonna try to basically get cover all angles. It's really difficult. They have a lot of mid-range out right now, and we're on, we're over 600 meters away from that guy. So you always be watching ranges, right? So that guy's over 600 meters, and that guy took me down. Next, let's go ahead and bring out. It's kind of a tough situation, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our. Um, we're gonna take our little uh, jumpy humpy and take him all the way to the uh, right side here. We're gonna try to stay behind cover using the large cover underneath the bridge on the right side. Should I see if we can't get to this Lancelot without those trebuchets hitting us. We do have center beacon and it's gonna be hard for them to get center beacon with that much mid-range. Mid-range is great, but you first have to secure the beacon advantage. That guy's gonna hit us with the Zeus's too. We have to get out of 600, so I'm gonna lock on to him to make sure I'm looking at his range. And now I'm over 600 meters. He is targeting me with the uh, geckos, and the geckos do hurt when you have enough of them hitting you. I'm trying to get far away enough to get as much attention my way, basically distracting these guys and getting to the low part of this um, little valley. That guy's got Orkin, so all I have to do is stay 310 meters away from him or more. And I'm gonna be able to fire these at him. He's gonna use his rush right now, so I'm gonna just jump away. The Trebs, of course, did hit me again, and they're probably gonna hit once more, if not again. He's probably gonna take me out, the Treb guy. Yep. It's really close, but let's try to get as much damage as we can at this guy. And basically this way I was able to pull away the only guy who could have gone into center and got it. I already pulled him away. Now we're going to bring out our mid-range. Okay, because nothing else that I have in my hangar right now would be qualified to uh, move in. So right now I'm going to have to uh, basically, we've secured beacon advantage. It would be really, really hard for them even if they do get center right now. Which will be really difficult because they have no one moving in for it. Which is also a shame guys. It's a real shame. Try to look at what your teammates are bringing out 
And especially, let's say this guy who's in front of me right now. He's in a mid-range robot. I know he feels like he can be really effective with it still. Because he's holding us back. But we already have center. So, I mean, we, we got the beacon. Now it's your time to try to go back and get it. So, if he... I mean, right now, since I started talking about him, he hasn't done any damage to anyone. It would be proper of him to drop that robot right then and there. You're not helping your teammates when you are in a, a mid-range robot that's not doing anything. Alright, we're going to actually target this guy. Alright, let's go ahead for the Galahad. We're going to, of course, keep our tridents because our tridents uh, are not afraid of a physical shield. Awesome, he's almost down. We're going to need one more shot at him. We're going to use our tridents right now on this guy coming up. And then we're going to flip over to our Zeus's and try to take out the Fury on the bottom. Okay, because my teammates can handle this guy. But that guy's going to be more of a difficulty. Now, the guy moving into center is in range to hit me. So I'm going to have to move back. Luckily, my teammates took him out. Dang it. That hurt. <laughs> Alright, now... They don't have the Trebs out anymore. They don't have Zeus's out anymore. Perfect timing for my Carnage. Because all the weapons that they have right now out on the field are splash damage. That's Tridents, Orkins, Talumbas, Pinatas, and Pins. At max level, you have, if I'm not mistaken, a 90,000 hit point shield uh, as far as your energy shield goes. So that can take, um, that can take some serious damage. Now we're going to rush in, and we're going to start working on that guy's shield. Just going to basically take proper cover here. I am on my second to last bot, and my last bot is a dock. Which the dock is really, really good for close range, um, close range maps. Alright, now I'm not that effective against his, um, against his robot itself because of my range. But, I am very effective against his uh, Ansel shield, so that's what I'm trying to target right now. That's why you saw me holding fire there for a minute, because, yeah, I can chip away at his health. Alright, we have that Trident guy. Let's back up a little bit. Awesome. Now, they did get center. It's too late. This is game over. And once again, guys, what you're going to notice is, I didn't do a lot of damage this game at all. I didn't. But every move I made was calculated to basically help my team get the win, right? We're trying to win here. And obviously I do have right now a limited hanger, right? But I did the best I have with the hanger that I had to help my teammates get the win. And that's distracting players away from center beacon so we can constantly hold that beacon, right? They had more firepower than us in this game. But what they didn't have is the proper understanding of reading the battlefield and saying, okay, we have too much range out right now. We need brawlers. We need to go and try to get that beacon. If we're going to try to win. I'm going to chip away at this guy. He's definitely going to jump for me. Alright, so I did get a little too close to jump. Calculate about 70 meters. We're just going to chip at him from just over... 350 meters. He has another jump. It's a good thing we have our rush. Awesome. Once again, guys, this is not going to be a top damage game, but it is a win screen, and that's what it's all about, boys and girls. All right, let's go ahead and do another giveaway. Real quick, let me go ahead and save the information for Adrian Cusetta. Okay, awesome. Adrian, I got your information. Super Gamer Cruzetta. Got that saved. Let me make sure that I have it saved here. Yes, perfect. Okay, awesome. Guys, the next giveaway is happening right now. And the keyword for this giveaway is going to be win no caps 
Just win. W-I-N. That is the keyword. Go. By the way, guys, once again, I do apologize. The chat is running way faster than I can read. Okay, so uh, normally in my live streams, it's pretty chilled out. It's very relaxing. Okay, so um, that is going to be hopefully... <laughs> of course, when you do a giveaway, you have a lot of people coming in. So it's awesome, and it's nice having you. Welcome to my channel. Also, do uh, make sure to check out the uh, other videos on my channel. There's some awesome, awesome video for you, gameplay, uh, tips and tricks, the um, how to play how to uh, play with uh, teamwork and uh, win series that we already have two videos out on that series and I am working on three and four on that series. Um, I did recently get and start a new job and this now this new job has been keeping me very very occupied. It's a very good job, um, but it is taking up a lot of my time. So obviously I don't have as much time as I used to have for YouTube, but still. It's not going to stop me, and I'm going to keep on uh, bringing you some awesome content. So the key word for, this, for the giveaway right now is win. Make sure to only put it in once. If you put it in more than once, unfortunately, the Nightbot is going to disqualify you from winning. Okay? So um, make sure to put it in only once. Just once for your chance to win 1,000 gold, ladies and gentlemen. There are 404 people watching right now, so I'm going to give it just a little bit more. We're going to let this roll. Togi, by the way, uh, I'm going <laughs> to... Okay, awesome. All right, guys. So that was two minutes. We have a nice two minutes wait here now, I think. And let's go ahead and roll for the next winner. The next winner of 1,000 gold. Who won? The win is... Andy Gomez. Andy Gomez, you are the next winner. Congratulations. I'm going to go ahead and post that in chat as well. Hey, Cthulhu. Andy Gomez, please go ahead and post your in game name, your pilot ID and your platform. We're going to roll into the next game over here and have another giveaway after this. Let's pray for a close map, okay? Sweet. All right, Dead City. What we're going to do now is actually we're going to start with our Carnage. No, let's start with the Stalker. We're going to start with the Stalker, and we are going to gun for center. The Stalker is actually a perfect center gunner on Dead City. Okay, because it's able to get into, into center before anyone else can get there on the opposite team. And even if someone does get in range to fire at us, we can hit the stealth mode and have enough time to back out of center and there we go we're able to get center but this this griffin is gonna pop us as soon as we get out 
So a lot of them moved into center over here. Wow. Yeah, a lot of them moved into center now. Bam. Okay, so we do have a lot of soft targets here. We're going to go ahead and grab our Carnage. We try to get behind this guy. Try to... The nice thing about the Carnage Thunder is the Carnage Thunder can su 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 surprise people and hit them in the back. You can basically do like these sneak attacks. We're going to obviously uh, always lock on target. Okay, so that guy's the stalker, the guy who went back there. I'm going to try to corner, sh corner view and see what this guy is in. He is in a heavy bot. A Lancelot, how nice. Obviously, he could shred us fast, but because our Ansel shield is taking in most of that damage, he wasn't able to do much to us. We're going to go back and try to help this teammate who's now moving back, because my Ansel is going to reload just a bit by the time I get here. And perfect. And we get to keep this beacon. My teammate is protected, right? And that Griffin is actually an easy target for Lancelot. Okay, so this guy's gonna be our next target actually. We're gonna let him again come to us. Okay, we are protected with an energy shield and he's got Orkins. As I mentioned before, the uh, thunder reloads fast. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna give it a few seconds. We're not gonna rush like crazies. We do have the beacon advantage, so we're just gonna take advantage of that. Our thunders are gonna be reloaded very soon. Okay, and we're just gonna stay here. Our Ansel is uh, reloading, our energy shield is reloading while, we, uh, while we're doing this, while we're hanging back here. And now we're going to give this guy a nice surprise. And move back behind cover. Play nice and slow guys, that's the best way to secure your win. Just playing nice and slow. Look at your ranges. That guy's a. That guy's a, a, He's protected with an energy, with a physical shield. Okay, that's a Galahad. So we're gonna try to stay away from him. Or, of course, let him get closer to us. The closer we are with a thunder, the better we're off. And now I'm gonna work this Ansel shield. Okay, and hopefully this Griffin is gonna turn around and work that guy. I see he's not paying attention to this direction. He's looking the other way. So I'm just gonna follow him. Okay, this is a really good combination, and this is what I talk about when I say complementing builds. Okay, these are very complementing builds. A Carnage Thunder and a Griffin DB. That Griffin can now take care of that Galahad. And I'm going to go after this guy trying to get our beacon. He's, of course, going to turn around to me in just a moment here, so I'm taking down his Ansel right now. As soon as he does turn around, I got the wall. And now he might turn to see if anyone's coming at him. And of course, I'm going to take that opportunity to fire at him. Or I'm going to let him come back at me. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and use my rush to get back to the other side. Or move a different direction. We got a teammate now moving in his direction. I got a griffin coming at me with plasma. We're going to go back behind cover. And notice how this robot that a lot of people say, oh, it's weak, you know, this is not so good. This has been lasting us already five minutes into the game, right? And we are preventing these guys from advancing, okay? People are somewhat scared of this guy. So yeah, it lasted us a good five minutes into the game. That's nice. It's precious. We're going to use something with a little bit of speed, okay? I'm, uh, I do want to show you guys the Doc uh, Orkin. But right now, uh, just situationally, I feel like the um, the plasma would do better. We'll let this guy perhaps come to us. He's not. We are getting center. This is a pretty solid game here. That is a trident carnage. Okay, so all we got to do is just jump to the side. Never jump to it or away from it. That's it, RDB. You can tell by the way it's firing. It's firing at single shots. It's, uh, sorry. It's, um, the Tolumbas and Pins. 
We're going to go ahead and free this beacon. We're not going to grab it because we do want to be able to get some more damage here. That was not a very smart jump. Not calculated enough. Now I'm going to lock on to the Griffin, okay? The Griffin is actually an easier target for me. Dang it. Alright, let's go ahead and show you how this dock works. Andy Gomez, thank you for your information. I'll make sure to save that, and you will, like I said, have your gold transferred to you. Go ahead and save that information, and we're doing our next giveaway now, guys. Y'all ready for this? Um, can you say anything in chat, just so I can see you and make you a moderator? See, the chat's moving like crazy here, so let's go ahead and add one more moderator. Awesome, thank you. We're going to have another moderator for this chat. Alright guys, I hope you're ready for this. We are going to be doing our next draw. The next draw is going to be a new word. And the word for this one, we already deemed teamwork. For those of you who don't know the difference between teamwork and team play, go ahead and watch my video on it. But the next one is going to be team play. T-E-A-M-P-L-A-Y. Team play is the next word. Go ahead and write team play. No caps, one word. Team play in chat for your chance to win the next 1,000 gold. Please do not write it twice. If you write it twice, the bot would automatically disqualify you. Alright, and once again, I'm going to post this into chat also so you guys can see what I'm talking about. This is our next keyword, okay? And this is key. It is key for winning the games, okay? So we already had win, and to win, you need teamwork and team play. I'll be right back, guys. Sorry about that guys, I did have to use the restroom real quick. And as you can tell right now, you know, you have to you have to be able to adapt in the game and you have to match the meta. You know, in top tier play, the robots that I have right now are barely existent. The stalker can barely do any damage. Um, you know, the the Regatka has the daddy Regatka, the Griffin, which if you lose how to, if you learn how to use it properly, it's okay that it doesn't have the speed. It does have a, wonder, a, a really good jump that can jump away from pretty much anything. Um, the Carnage Thunder is viable for all levels, guys. My mid-range I don't use much, but hopefully we'll be seeing some more awesome gameplay with that. Alright guys, team play is the key word. For those of you who haven't yet, go ahead and write team play in the chat. I am going to be doing another giveaway right away after this.
For those of you who haven't yet, go ahead and write team play. Only write it once. If you write it twice, the Nightbot will disqualify you from the draw. I'm going to go ahead and draw right now for the word team play, and we are going to be having another one immediately after. The winner for the, 1, 000, the fourth 1,000 gold is Nathaniel. Congratulations. I'm going to go ahead and also write it in the chat. Congratulations, Nathaniel. Please go ahead and post your in-game name, your pilot ID, and your platform, iOS or Android. While he's doing that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and already tell you the next word. Okay, once again, no caps. Okay, all one word. The next word. No caps. L-O-V-E, which spells love. Go ahead and post love. In the chat, only post it once, otherwise you will be disqualified. And we're going to be doing that while we're waiting for Nathaniel to post his pilot ID, in-game name, and his platform. You're welcome. The cam will be back here in a little bit, guys. Awesome, and Nathaniel, we're still all waiting. I saw you wrote thank you, but I still am waiting on your IGN, your in-game name, your pilot ID, and your uh, platform, iOS or Android. Guys, because we're already going on an hour in this live stream, I'm actually going to do another giveaway. No, we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it at that. We're going to keep it at that. We're going to do another one after the next game. That's that, Nathaniel. It must have not registered it. Can you go ahead and post it again for me? Go ahead and post it in chat for me once more. Even though the Nightbot didn't register it, it just saw the thank you and posted it.
Okay, awesome. We got Nathaniel's information, and we're going to go ahead and roll on the word love. The winner of the sixth 1,000 gold is the power rock star, the powerful rock star. Congratulations, the powerful rock star. You are the winner of the sixth 1,000 gold. I'm going to go ahead and post that in chat. Please go ahead and post your in-game name, your pilot ID, and your platform, iOS or Android. Alright guys, we're going to roll into our next game here. After this game, we're going to have another roll for another winner with a new word. Another game on Canyon. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and start with our soccer again. We're going to cap a beacon. I see that guy is going for the far right beacon. We're going to roll into center. Seeing a little bit of lag. And we're going to back up. That is a Galahad who is going to corner shoot at me. So we're going to try to get advantage with space. We're going to try to corner shoot at him. I'm getting terrible lag right now. Apologize about that in advance. Go ahead and use my stealth once more. Oh my gosh, the screen is skipping like crazy. I'm going to have to try to back up over here, get far enough that I can fix this for us real quick. Just one second here, guys. Okay, here we go. That should hopefully help a little bit. Sorry about that lag, guys. Alright, let's go ahead and drop this guy. We're going to take our dock and try to deal with these guys who are flanking our left side. Do we already have a Regaka going that way? Sorry about that, Regaka. And next we're going to flip and go for the Rhino. Awesome. There is a Carnage Zeus down there. We're going to let their Agaka uh, get that beacon. We're going to try to flank sides. See some of these guys are skipping. A little bit of lag right now. Oh no, 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 not right behind me. Ah! We're going to lock on target. Try to get a nice angle at him here. A little bit over 300 meters now. He backed up. He knows that 300 meter is my threshold for damage. We're going to fire only our right weapon first, then our left. We still have our other one fully loaded and we're going to use it for this carnage. Move in and get center beacon. Meantime, let's see this guy's range. These guys are both, I have Trident, Trident, and, okay, yeah, I'm going down. Let's go ahead and take our Regaka. What we're going to try to do right now is, even though we have three beacons, these guys are strong on us. We're going to try to go ahead and flank the right side, the right beacon. So we're going to stay out of range for those mid-range guys. I see right now they have, I think, two, if not three, Fury Tridents. One is mixed with um, a Zeus. 
We're gonna lock on target. This is the guy we're targeting right now. We don't want to lock on to the Fury accidentally. He's facing a shield to me and trying to get behind this cover and get into range. He did lo lose his medium weapon right now. He's only got his two uh, light weapons. We're gonna try to corner shoot at him. Because believe it or not, the Magnums are the second to strongest weapon in the game. When Terrans are number one, and those Magnums are number two strongest in the game. The Zeus comes first, third, if I'm not mistaken, as far as DPS. DPS stands for damage per second. And that guy's gonna fire his tridents on the left side. On the right side, we're gonna move into the right side. And there come the Zeus's. So we're gonna jump backwards, try to stay behind this cover over here, in hopes that our teammates are gonna move into center now that we have some attention our way. We're gonna fire just our right our right weapon. Let's go ahead and jump away from those tridents. We're gonna try to attract some more attention over here to the uh, right side of the map. I'm gonna use my jump to get over this cover. Damn bad aiming. And the Fury Trident took us down with only two weapons left. We're gonna go ahead and pull out our mid-range now. They're gonna be making a serious push right now. We do still want to uh, try to help our teammates move in. That guy has an Ansel shield, that's why I flipped to my Zeus's. My Zeus's are able to get through the Ansel shield and hopefully hit his physical shield. Once again guys, this is Champion League play, so if any of you are wondering, this is, uh, this is what you're watching right now, it's Champion League. And uh, of course, these these uh, these guys are um, pretty challenging, to say the least. Now I'm gonna try to get this Galahad facing towards me. Try to get behind this shield. Okay, there comes that guy's aiming for me now. We're gonna try to flip and at least get one more shot at that guy before we go down, because we are going down. Unfortunately, the bush does not have very good speed. Oh, nice. We didn't get it. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Alright. Still got that guy in play. That guy doesn't have an Ansel shield, but I'm going to go ahead and fire at that Ansel shield. Perfect. Perfect timing that uh, Carnage Thunder just hit that Ansel shield and perfect timing for my uh, tridents to hit. We'll wait for them to um, reload once more, and I think we're going to switch onto the Zeus. I'm going to fire just one, one side of our weapon here. We have to try to get into position here on the right side to try to get any damage on these guys. We're going to flip right now, try to help out with this um, Ancelot in center. There's a lot of British bots out right now, a lot of shields, so this is pretty challenging. Just got hit by Zeus. That guy's actually probably going to take me out because he's going to reload before I can get back behind cover. Yep. Carnage Thunder time. Sorry about the lag here, guys. This is a lot of pressure on the server and on my computer. I'm going to chip away at this uh, Lancelot. These guys are tough. SRT is a great clan. Let's work on that Ansel shield. Take it down. That Zeus is actually not aiming at me currently. Alright, that kind of sucks. These are terrible games. <laughs> Let's... I really want to put in something with a shield. With a physical shield. Because currently we don't really have anything with a physical shield. Let's switch this guy out for a Rhino. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch him out. We are going to be doing another giveaway right now, guys. But, real quick, let me switch this out to a Rhino. We're going to make this a Rhino uh, Plasma. So we have some extra range as well. Like I said, I'm going to be doing this entire stream without British bots. So these are all bots that you all have. These are not gold bots. The Rhino is a workshop point bot. Alright. The next 
Okay, hold on one second. The powerful rock star. I didn't get your. Um, I did not get your information. Did we get his? Uh, did we get a screenshot of his information? The powerful rock star. Did we get a, a screenshot of the powerful rock stars? Um, no. Okay, so the powerful rock star. Uh, Nightbot is showing me that uh, what we received from you is a message at, um, uh, well, it's my time at 7.15.23. It says, everyone say love, and then it says, empty rocks. After that, it says, yes, me, but I don't have your information. What I'm going to need is your IGM, which is your in-game name, your pilot ID, and your platform, so iOS or Android. Do me a favor and go ahead and try to post that as soon as possible. This way we can go on with the next giveaway. The next giveaway of another thousand gold. And we're going to have a special keyword for that as well. Eruption, welcome to the live stream and welcome to my channel, brother. Hey Chris, hey Mitty, hey Gameplay. Hey Cats in the Wind. Alright, so I'm going to give uh, just one more minute for... Um, the power, the powerful rock star. You have uh, one minute to post your information. If we don't get that information within the next minute, we are going to redraw for the sixth winner as well. Hey, Matthews. Moderators are included, by the way, in the draw. Hi DG, hi Mr. Blade. The powerful rock star, I'm waiting on you. Your profile is just a green screen. And we do want to get on with this next um this next draw. Once again, the powerful Rockstar, we are waiting on your information, and um, as soon as I get information, I'll be able to move on to the next draw. If I don't get it, we will redraw for that last 1,000. And we're going to do that completely random. After that, we're going to have an additional draw for a keyword. Charles, the highest DPS in the game is the Terrans. The Terrans can do, in their cycle, can do 71,000 damage uh, when maxed. 71,000, and that's for a single, um, for a single, uh, uh, sorry, a, a single clip. The clip unloads in about 8.4 seconds, the full cycle, in other words, including the reload time, which is about four and a half seconds, four to five, about five seconds is I think 14.8 seconds for a full clip, for a full uh, cycle. The cycle is the the um, unloading the entire clip, however long that takes, and the um, reload time. So it's 15 seconds for full clip. And then you can fire a full clip again. 
Alright, so unfortunately we did not get the information from the powerful Rockstar. And uh, that kind of sucks, man. I, I really, uh, I already congratulated you for winning, but uh, I didn't get that information that I needed. We are going to go ahead and redraw on that gold. I'm going to give you another 10 seconds here. Chat is moving pretty fast, and I think there is some lag also on me speaking. And when it gets to you, so I'm going to give it another 10 seconds. And then we are going to redraw on the sixth winner. And after that, we're going to have the seventh winner. Followed by another game, and then I think we're going to do two winners in a row. Alrighty, so, uh, I'm sorry the powerful rock star, but uh, hopefully next time, man. We're going to go ahead and roll again. And we're going to do this one completely random based on an active user. And the winner is Lee Webb. I'm going to go ahead and post your name in the chat. Do me a favor and post your pilot ID, your in-game name, and your platform. Lee Webb, congratulations. You are the sixth winner. The next keyword. All right, hold on a second. I'm going to give you a minute over here to uh, post your information. Lee Webb, congrats. You are the sixth winner now that uh, we lost our previous sixth. Please do me a favor and go. Oh, perfect. Got gotcha. Got his information, guys. Let me just go ahead and make sure I have that saved. All right. The next keyword. Is the only one, the only one consistent, amazing, and wonderful thing in my life that uh, is just wonderful from start to finish. And actually, here with us right now, moderating the chat for this live stream. Special thanks to Lady. And let's go ahead, and this is going to be the next keyword for the next giveaway. I'm going to post it in chat. No caps, Lady, L-A-D-Y, is going to be the next winner, the next keyword for the draw. I love you, baby. Go ahead and post Lady in chat just once, guys. If you post twice, you already disqualified. So let's go ahead and post that. We're going to give it two minutes, and after that, we are going to be... Announcing the seventh winner. Eruption Destroyer, don't say that. You don't suck. Nobody sucks. Alright guys, 20 more seconds and we will be drawing once more.
and we will be announcing the seventh winner. After that, we're going to play one more game, guys. And after that game, we're going to announce the eighth and ninth. We're going to do two in a row. And after that, we're going to see what we're doing as far as time frame. Alrighty guys, there are 363 people watching right now. We are going to be drawing amongst those 363 people watching that posted the word lady in chat within the last two minutes and did it only once. Let's go ahead and find out who is the seventh winner for 1,000 gold. Here we go. Hectrix Louie, you are the winner. Congratulations. Hectrix Louie. I'm going to go ahead and post that name also in the um, in the chat. Congratulations. You are the seventh winner of 1,000 gold. Please go ahead and post your in-game name, your pilot ID, and your platform, iOS or Android. Awesome, I have Hectrix, I have your pilot ID, I have your information, perfect, thank you for doing that so fast, let's go ahead and roll into our next game here. I'm gonna go ahead and save your information, after this next game guys, we're going to be having two draws, one after the other, two keywords, that will help you win 1000 gold. Alright, here we go. This is Dead City. We're actually going to start off with our dock right now because I haven't really gotten to play with this much. This squad we're up against is a full raw and Popcorn Fury who happens to be an exceptional player too. This is going to be a little tough, but let's go ahead and see what we can do. I see that I'm on here. I'm here on my own. The reason I'm able to see that easily is I'm actually just looking at the arrow indicators. I can see that I'm pretty much on my own. Go ahead and do some corner viewing, see what we're up against. We're going to lock on to target. This guy, as soon as he moves closer to me, he's going to be getting a load to the face, if he does. See, oh boy, we got some skipping there. We have our teammate there. We're going to cover him. Let's go ahead and lock onto this griffin that just jumped. He's a plasma griffin. That's definitely uh, very dangerous for us. We are getting a little bit of lag, and that lag is causing some skipping. I'm going to move to the sides. We're going to flip our weapons. Try to get as much of this Leo that we can as we can. We have two guys coming out here, Seer. We're actually going to go ahead and point this way. So this way, the first one that comes towards us... Oh, well. But technically, the first one that comes towards us would be the one that would get hit. We're going to use our Carnage Thunder to go over that back that side because we had a lot of splash damage back there. We had that uh, Griffin that was pretty much fully loaded. And we're going to assist our teammate over here in his RDB if we can make it there on time. Try to get my shield as close to him as possible, as soon as possible. I'm gonna stay here, kind of behind, somewhat behind cover. And we're gonna use our rush again. We're gonna go to the next opening while we're letting our thunders reload. 
Let's try to get over here a good in nice and nice angle. Obviously, single firing, like I said, single firing your weapons is always going to be more effective and cause more damage. Assuming Popcorn Fury is running another. Try to get into his shield. This is the best way. Getting behind his shield. The lag is kind of messing us up here. Popcorn Fury is running another Griffin. If I'm not mistaken, he runs four Griffins. What we do is go ahead and take our Rhino. We're going to take it over to that, to that side and help our teammates. Okay, quick look to the left to see what's going on there. Just making sure we're not going and investing in the wrong direction. It's a really tough squad we're up against. But let's see. Because those guys are plasma, I feel pretty confident going out here. But of course, we are going to chrono view and make sure that we don't have any splash back there. Corner fire are Terran and Orkin. And uh, Magnum, sorry. Try to corner fire this way. As you can see, only my right side weapons are depleting. I'm going to hold those down. Basically, the best way to do this is just... Okay, so he's corner shooting too. What I'm going to do is actually back up. I see I have teammates going back this way. We're going to open our shield, move forward. The Magnums are basically constant fire, so if he even peeks for a second, we're just going to keep firing. So this way, even if he peeks for a second, it's going to hurt him. Take a quick corner view into center. We'll lower our shield here so we have the maneuverability. We're going to fire this time our left weapon and stay behind cover. See so this guy's backing up right now. Make sure you're looking at those indicators <clears throat> on the sides of the screen. We're going to try to advance over here to the next cover. This way we have a better view at this guy. Oh well. working out very well. Let's go ahead and make sure that guy's not taking our home beacon. I think he is. Gonna hit with Splash, but the Rhino does have a nice speed. Finish that guy off. Let's go ahead and unload our weapons. This guy is going to take us out, no question about it. The unfortunate thing about the Rhino is just it's very, very slow. It doesn't have very good maneuverability. If that guy had his jump, he would have taken us out for sure. He'd not avoid Orkins at all. Go ahead and use our griffin. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh. Okay, so this is a sucky situation. They're spawn raiding us at all or already. That guy has just about four seconds, like I said before, he can fire again. So we're gonna try to get behind cover. Almost dead. I can't even get hit by him once. I get hit by him once and I'm done ski. Oh! Damn it, why did I even use my jump? That was so stupid. Okay. So he just unloaded. Like I said, he's got four seconds. You can always tell time by looking at the top. You look at the timer and how much time is left in the game. And that's how you're able to tell time. It's the easiest way to be able to tell. Let's say when tridents fire at you, what I do is I look at the time when they fired last. So if let's say right now I'm looking at the clock and it says 5.52 and I see the tridents fired, what I'm going to do is I know that that, sorry, it was 352. So at 342, um, he can fire again. And what I'm going to do here, guys, after this game, I am going to make another two draws. After that, I'm going to switch up my hangar to current meta hangar. Okay? So this means I'm going to be loading up my, you know, the, the hangar I normally run. Um, with this this new meta, <clears throat> and give you some actual because, as you can tell, you know in Champion League, you really need to be keeping up with current meta. Otherwise, you're not going to have very good games. Any of these robots are okay on their own, but not okay in groups. Um, or let's say if you're running a full hangar of, of things that are not not with the current meta. So that's going to be good. I'm going to be able to finish off with that. Okay, so there's gonna make, we're going to make that the last game. Wow, that really sucked. Okay, ouch. All right, guys. Well, let's at least do our next two giveaways. I know that you guys are waiting for this.
hold on. Alrighty, guys. The next keyword. I'm gonna write it in the chat. The next keyword is trust. No caps, but trust. We want to build trust with our teammates. This way we are able to take the next step to winning. Go ahead and write in the chat, trust, only once, guys. If you do more than once, you disqualify. And our Nightbot is going to help us choose the next winner. While you're doing that, I'm going to go pee real quick. I'll be right back. Alrighty, while you guys are doing that, I'm going to switch up my hanger here real quick. And this is going to give you all a chance to see how we do with current meta. Of course, like I said, we are going to have that draw here very soon. The next draw. So let's go ahead and keep the dock in. Now a lot of players have a lot of complaints about, you know, the current meta and because it is all gold weapons and robots, but the thing is you could obviously you could obviously save up and you can get these robots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in one of each of the Camelot pack. Let's actually make this a Hellfire. And then we'll do the last one. We'll make this a support bot. We'll make it a Carnage Zeus. Or actually, let's do RDB. I know you guys like seeing the RDB. I do. I do pretty decently with the RDB. So let's go ahead and do that. 
We're going to have, like I said, two draws right now. So don't be going anywhere. I think I actually have the RDB build already on one of my Griffins. There we go. All right. And let's see who our next winner is. For the word trust, which trust is a very, very important element of playing this game and an important element of winning. By the way, guys, like I said, we are going to be having two more, um, two more videos, hopefully two or three more videos on this series of how to, um, how to be a team player and win. And uh, we're going to be talking about, in the next one, we're going to be talking about how to set up your hangar for teamwork and team play. We're going to be talking about um, how to complement other robots and builds and work with other people, what builds complement which builds and why. And also more on the Art of Beacons. Followed by, after that, a video about how to find clans, how to find players to, to run with and people that you can actually communicate with, how to find the way to communicate with these people. We're going to be talking about... Um, uh, comms. So we're talking about Discord and how to get on comms, how to communicate with people, how to talk to them, uh, uh, and how to get in touch with more players that you can actually talk with. We're going to talk about the benefits and the disadvantages of comms, and uh, so on. The next winner, the n eighth winner of 1,000 gold, ladies and gentlemen, is JMNA J-M-A-N-R-C-K-R. I, I don't think that actually means anything, but I'm going to post it in chat right now. Congratulations. You are the next winner. Let me post that again. And we are going to immediately after we get the information from him. So go ahead and send your uh, IGN, your in-game name, your pilot ID, and your... Um your uh, platform iOS or Android and after that we're gonna have another draw followed by a last game and the last draw Whoa, what happened? <sighs> you won. Go ahead and post your pilot ID, your IGN, and your platform, iOS or Android. Once again, guys, this video, of course, uh, you know, is definitely not a reflection of what you're going to see on the channel. This is an insane giveaway, but um, be sure to check out the other videos on the channel. See if you like it. If you do, of course, you can go ahead and subscribe to be notified and press the bell to be notified when I post videos. Um, and yeah, this is definitely an opportunity for me to make sure that you guys are getting something. I don't know what you're going to do with that 1,000 gold, if you're going to spin it for a gold chest, if you're going to actually use it for something that you're saving up, maybe a fourth or a fifth slot. Um, maybe you know, you're know you saving up for a weapon or a robot. But whatever it is, I do hope that each one of the winners of 1,000 gold today is going to be using that gold for good things and enjoy it. That's what it's all about, guys. J-Man just waiting on your pilot ID, your in-game name, and your platform. Once again, guys, these draws are completely random. Just so you know, they're completely random. It's not up to me. The bot, the night bot, is actually the one who uh, does it, and it's completely, completely random.
All right, J-Man, you have one more minute to post that information. If you can go ahead and do that for me, please. Otherwise, we will have to redraw to move on. J-Man got banned? So here, J-Man got banned. One second. J, what's the one? Right there. No, that's not the same one. Oh wait, it is. Just one second, guys. He wasn't banned. One second here, guys. Sorry. The Chat is moving really, really fast. Right. So. He said he's going. Yeah, so I didn't see anything draw. since then. All right, guys, so we are going to go ahead and redraw. Because I'm not, yeah. It shows, it shows he's just said bye. Yep, it does. <laughs> Hashtag never forget. Wait, wait, go back. Yeah, he just said, he said, trust, then wait, what happened? And then what? Then three dots, then bye. Yeah. All right, guys, we are going to have a redraw. J-Man, I'm sorry, but uh, I needed your information. Without that, I can't continue. We're going to go ahead and re have a redraw. This is going to be based on active user. And after that, we are going to be having another one because this is... This is the eighth winner, and then we're gonna have also the nine one. So the na the eighth winner. I'm gonna post your name in chat. Do me a favor, go ahead and post your pilot ID, your IGN, and your platform.
That sucks. Why did he leave? That's a different name. <clears throat> Someone must have created M A R. It's not man. Yep. All right. Gooey Minamari, I'm waiting on your pilot ID, your IGN, and your um, platform, iOS or Android. So the eighth winner. After that, we are gonna have an we are gonna have a draw for the ninth winner. And after that, we are of course going to be rolling into our last game here, that is going to be followed by the final drawing. Guys, please make sure to have your information ready. Write it down on a piece of paper right next to you. All right, right now we're going on 35 seconds, 36 seconds. We do. Uh, we're going to be waiting another minute and a half to get the information. After that, we will be moving on and doing another draw. Okay, perfect. We got the information. Let me go ahead and save that. One second, you guys. All right, guys. The next keyword. The next keyword is going to be one word, all under caps, no caps, war robots, W-A-R-R-O-B-O-T-S. Go ahead and post it only once. And this is going to be our ninth winner. After that, we will be having a final game. And after that final game, we will be having our final draw for the final winner. Well, either that, I'm going to go ahead and the cam is going to be right back in here in a moment, guys.
one more minute guys there are 273 people watching right now you all have a chance go ahead and say war robots one word no caps we are going to be rolling the ninth winner for the thousand gold here in just a moment You have a better chance here now, guys. The viewers went down by almost half. Well, okay, that's not exactly accurate, but we're down to 278 right now. Make sure you post only once. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing all these names run by and there's so many of you, I wish you all win. Oh my gosh. So many of you awesome people. <laughs> hey Rhino. Oh my gosh, have mercy, you're making me feel bad now. I wish I could give you all, but I don't have enough gold for that. <laughs> It is completely random and not up to me. In future giveaways, guys, by the way, we of course will be having more giveaways on my channel. Many of the giveaways are actually based on viewers, and some of them I ask questions for those of you who know me best. And for those of you who know, who watched all the videos. Alrighty here, guys, we are drawing the next winner for the word War Robots as the winner of the ninth 1,000 gold. And no way! The person who said, have mercy! Darius Van Vuren, you are the winner of the ninth 1000 gold giveaway. Congratulations. Go ahead and post your IGN, your pilot ID, and your platform for me, please. For all of you guys, make sure to follow War Robots on Facebook. You can follow them for any updates, things that are happening in the game. <sighs> Darius, please go ahead and post your IGN, your pilot ID, and your platform, iOS or Android. You are the ninth winner of 1,000 gold for this 10,000 gold in total giveaway. Congratulations. We are about to roll out to the last and final game here for the evening and after that we are going to be having the last and final draw for the last and final 1000 gold. Guys, please make sure also to keep this chat drama free and clean. I know that uh, my moderators hate putting people in timeouts and hate anything like that, and especially for those of you guys who I really, really like, this live stream is completely, completely clean. You know that my channel is not necessarily the most uh, family friendly, and I do curse and say bad words and stuff like that, but uh, on this live stream, it is all clean. Darius, we're still waiting on you. Hey, performance. Guys, please make sure to have that pilot, have that information for me ahead of time. 
We have a lot of people here waiting. Mama success. That's awesome. That is a uh, fun IGN. Let me go ahead and save that real quick, guys. And in the meantime, we are, of course, going to be rolling out here to the next game, our last and final game for the evening. Oh my gosh. I really hope you guys all show up to my next live streams as well. It's awesome having you. I know this is a little bit crazy, but let's go ahead and roll out. Here we go, guys. Let us start with our fastest bot. We're going to start with our Gareth here. He's going to do some work, I guarantee you. Oh, I got Mr. Wellboy here. Mr. Wellboy is on my team. Go ahead and empty my clip here. That is an RDB and oh my gosh. Whoa. I should be paying attention here. The shield is not going to help me here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Forget about that guy. Let's bring out. We have a lot of splash damage over on that side. We do have three teammates moving that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, get our Ancelot here. We're going to try to cap these beacons right over here. I think what uh, my teammates are afraid of is the two Galaheads and the Fury Trident back there. So the Fury Trident definitely doesn't scare me. I'm going to try to keep myself nicely uh, protected from these uh, Galaheads as well. That we're going to be doing by using these barriers as cover. Hopefully, be helping us uh, manage some of that uh... we're gonna rush towards this guy he's gonna be corner shooting at me so I'm actually gonna get trying to get into a nice comfortable snug position over here be protected from the plasma on both ends. I'm not gonna be able to do that without some assistance from my teammates. We're also dealing with some lag. Like I said again, we're not afraid of that Fury Trident. When your Ansel shield is maxed, it is very powerful. You're not afraid of Tridents. Tridents have a really, really hard time taking you out unless they fire at you consistently. I'm actually going to move in, take Beacon B. That Galahad is in a nice, comfortable position to prevent me from hitting him. Start hitting that Fury Trident. I'm going to shoot at this Galahad. He's probably corner shooting too, so these guys are not going to be easy to take out. Should have moved into that. I have enough teammates over here, and they're actually flanking our home right now. So let's go ahead and help uh, Dragon Donor. I'm gonna move back and uh, try to prevent this guy from taking our home. All right, I got two mate, two teammates going that way. We're gonna actually move into their home right now.
guy's got his back to us. Go ahead and get into a nice comfortable position there. And get a little closer to their home before I start firing at him because as soon as I start firing at him, he's gonna fire at me. He's gonna turn around and come my way. But as long as I cap this beacon, I'm gonna try to cap that beacon before he noticed me. Didn't happen unfortunately, but oh well. We got another Fury Trident there, so I'm gonna be going down. That's okay, we applied some pressure on their home. Let's go ahead and take our dock. Dock is gonna be really good at the uh, the areas right over here in the places that have plenty of cover. We have a teammate who's taking the uh, Pitcher's Mount Beacon. Not in range for that guy yet. I guess they're kind of spread over all over the place. We have that Fury Trident, but let's not worry about him. Let's go ahead and try to take B Beacon. We got the Mr. Wild Boy. He's got an Ansel Shield, but his Ansel Shield is really weak right now. So I see we do have someone taking their home beacon. E is their home beacon. And we're gonna have our quick draw here ready in about two seconds, and it's ready now. Go ahead and finish this Lancelot first, and then we're gonna go after the RDB. Try to get a little bit of a wider curve. Oh, dang it. Alright. Well, this can definitely work as Ansel Shield real nice. Mr. Wildboy is doing some really good work here. Not afraid of that RDB, that smart RDBs don't have a lot of power versus the uh, versus the um, Ancelot. Go ahead and get out of this way. I see Mr. Wildboy is taking decent cover there. I'm going to stay in his Ansel shield. You go ahead and fire at this uh, Ansel shield right here. Take down the shield, then use our quick draw to take out the robot itself. He's making a jump for it. Nice job. Nice work. Getting behind cover, knowing that his physical shield can take damage right now. We're distracting a nice amount of their teammates here, but unfortunately, their uh, Ansel shields are reloading faster than we can unload. And this is where he made the biggest mistake. Staying far is what he wanted to do. As soon as he got too close, that's when um, my Orkins are able to hit him. And as soon as our quick draw is ready here, we have a full load of Orkins for this guy again. So I got taken out from behind. Very well. That's going to be an easy target for our RDB. And of course we are at a major beacon advantage here now. This is game over. Good work here, boys. Alrighty. And that was our last and final game, guys. I hope you enjoyed that game. I hope you enjoyed this live stream. If you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up so more people can see it. Oh my gosh. This is, <laughs> this is just terrible. <laughs> wow. Alright. Well, at least we gave away a bunch of gold today. Good job to my teammates on that one, guys. The last keyword... Alright, so Darius, yes, I did get it. And yeah, the, the lag is pretty insane when there's a lot of people, but uh, that's fine. The last and final keyword here is one word, no caps, <clears throat> and the word is thank you.
is a special thank you to all of you who joined me today. I really appreciate you guys stopping by and joining me. I love you all very much. And this is an awesome live stream. It was great to have you all as an audience. I'm glad and uh, uh, very, very happy for the 10 winners. Congratulations. For those of you who didn't win during this live stream, make sure to come in over in, uh, uh, in future live streams. I do sometimes have surprise live streams when I come on over and uh, do gold giveaways. So there's a chance for all of you to win some gold and uh, definitely use those golds for your upgrades. Use those that gold for your um, you know fourth and fifth slot for the robots and weapons that you all need to advance in this wonderful and awesome fun game that is definitely addicting and definitely something that I've been enjoying for the last over two years already. Go ahead and one word thank you in the chat. We will be randomly picking the 10th winner, the last and final winner for this live stream. Once again, special thanks to uh, my moderators for this live stream, David Swinton, um, David Swinton, Theo, and did he ever show up? Of course he did. And uh, Mythic, as well as my wonderful partner in crime and partner in life, Lady, who helped us moderate this uh, chat and make sure that this chat was nice and uh, clean and drama free. As an additional disclosure, disclaimer for you guys here. Um, my channel is not a family channel and most of my live streams you may you will or may hear uh, curse words that uh, include some words that may hurt your ears we obviously won't be showing anything here that is sensitive we won't be showing anything any any news here or anything like that um, but just for that for you to keep in mind um, for those of you this is your first uh, live stream with me once again thank you for joining if you enjoyed this live stream, go ahead and hit the thumbs up so more people can see it. Also, if you haven't yet, hit the Chainfire watermark on the bottom of the screen to subscribe to my channel if you'd like. Um, also, hit the uh, once you subscribe, you can hit the bell and modify your uh, modif your notifications. This way, you'll be notified when I go live and when I post videos. We have a lot, a lot of awesome, exciting videos here from gameplay with voiceover commentaries. Uh, I am also hoping soon to be doing some live commentaries as well, uh, and like I said, tutorials, different things like that. You know, inspirational videos, things for you to how to play better uh, as a teammate, how to play better as a solo player. We're gonna be talking hopefully in the next two videos on the um, series of how to be a team player and win. We're gonna be talking about how to set up your hangar for teammate, for teamwork. Sorry, how to complement other robots' builds and basically be able to identify where on the battlefield you have to be and what's the best position for you to take because a lot of times that's what it's all about. It's not even necessarily about what you're doing at the time or how much damage you're doing or how many beacons you're getting, but it's what you're providing for your team, what you're doing for the team to end up in getting that green screen, getting that win screen. We will also be talking the following uh, video after that. We'll be talking about communication, in-game communication, communication on Discord, communication on Facebook, how to find a good clan, um, what is considered a good clan, how to work with your clan mates, how to better yourself as a team player and as a whole with your clan mates. Also guys, um, <clears throat> tutorials, tutorials, yeah absolutely. Also guys, I apologize for those of you who I couldn't say hi to in chat. Unfortunately the chat was moving very very fast and I couldn't say hi to all of you but I appreciate you all stopping by. Let's go ahead and roll our final draw for the final winner tonight. The keyword was thank you. And the winner is MC Giblets. MC Giblets, do me a favor, go ahead and post your IGN as well as your pilot ID and your platform, iOS or Android. To those of you who win didn't win tonight, I am sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but of course, make sure to join me in future live streams. We will be having more giveaways on my channel. For those of you who didn't win today, thanks for joining. And uh, like I said, your gold will be transferred directly to your account um, by Tuesday or Wednesday, hopefully the latest. And that is, like I said, directly to your account, Android or iOS. There, I have a representative from uh, Android from uh, Pixonic who helps me with that. And I got your information, MC Giblets. Thank you so much. I'm going to save that information for me right now. Let's 
go ahead and save that information. Awesome. All right, guys. That was awesome. That was awesome. I hope you all have a very, very good rest of your night. A awesome Sunday tomorrow. And I hope to see you all real soon in my next videos. Have a good night and take it easy.